Hello friend, this video is in the shadows because I want to share with you the secret of the Belton House sundial. This is Belton House, a National Trust property in Lincolnshire, England. In the gardens there's this sundial. Belton's sundial was created by Gaius Sibber, a renowned sculptor who also worked on St Paul's Cathedral and Hampton Court Palace for Sir Christopher Wren. It was placed in the gardens by Belton's then owner, Sir John Brownlow, sometime between 1721 and 1754. Carved from limestone, the pedestal of the sundial shows Kronos, God of Time, and Eros, God of Love. Such a striking piece of art stirs the imagination, and for children's author Helen Creswell, she dreamt that the sundial holds a secret. The sundial is actually a moon dial and Moondial became the title of Creswell's novel, published in 1987. This is the blurb from the back of the novel. Even before she came to Belton, Minty Kane had known that she was a witch, or something very like it. Minty is the kind of girl who notices things. Pockets of cold air on a stairway, cries on the wind, ghosts on nighttime expeditions from the house where she's staying minty stumbles upon a moon dial which takes her back in time there she finds tom a sickly kitchen boy and sarah a girl whose family thinks she has the mark of the devil will minty find her way home or will she be stuck in the past forever this is what I love when art inspires creation. Can you think of any art that inspired something? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with a video clip of Moondial, the TV series. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.